One of my favorite things to look at from time to time is how parks have evolved over time. Whether this is through the park maps, merchandise, photographs, or videos, it's always interesting seeing how much a park can change in even as short as just 10 years. One of the best tools for doing this is Google Street View, which allows you to explore roads all over the world through the lens of a 360 degree camera. Fortunately for us, Street View isn't limited to just automobile roads, and some very gracious explorers have been around most of the world's major parks with 360 degree cameras, allowing us to explore a time capsule version of many of these parks. And if there's one park that's known for its ever-evolving history, it's Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. So, that's the park we're going to be checking out today. Say goodbye to August 2023, as we're traveling back 12 years to August 2011. I'm going to try to drop in outside of the parking lot first. I'd like to also apologize for how awful the audio quality is in those live segments. I still don't have a proper recording setup where I'm living, and my four-year-old blue snowball is definitely starting to show its age, so it's going to be pretty crummy throughout. The reason why I decided to go outside of the park first, I don't think I'll be able to actually see it. But I wanted to see what's on this sign out front here. No, no, I can't read that. If you can read that, then yeah. Does it, can you see anything on the 3D sign? You can, you can see the Orion sign on the 3D. That's kind of cool. That would have been from 2020, I guess. Uh, not much has really changed. There's a bit, there's a couple of big differences though. Like, for example, you don't really see the pop-up, these like pop-up stands, like, especially right outside of the entrance like this. You don't see this dip and dot stand or that, what's that, taffy? Yeah, a taffy stand. You don't see cars. For only $5, you could win a new car. Would you look at that? I think there's another car actually on the left side too. You win that car. No, it's a $50, you can win a $50 gas card. I wonder if they still have this car. Like, where do you think this this 94.9 Mini went? Not, as lo not a lot has changed between 2017 and now for like the front entrance. Like again, you don't see a lot of this pop-up stuff. You don't see Dinosaurs Alive anymore. That got removed when? 2018, 2019 for most of the parks. Um, you don't see giant inflatable Snoopy anymore. But yeah, those gift shops are slightly different. It's mostly just like the names and stuff. Like this isn't Convenience Corner anymore. Uh, same with this. This isn't this isn't Lots of Palooza anymore. This uh, Build a Bear knockoff Build a Bear uh, is now part of this gift shop. They're combined. I think that there is a Build a Bear further down on International Street nowadays. Not a lot has changed in International Street. Uh, mostly just the names and a couple of the colors like this building is a different color now This is the one building that is the same that is the same though actually the Kings Island Emporium here going up to the Eiffel Tower This is before the 2022 repaint, but it looks pretty much the same. Let's be real. This is one thing that's different though I think yeah this Starbucks uh, It's no longer a Starbucks. It's a French uh, place that sells like sandwiches, bagels, and coffee. We're actually gonna take the long way around through everyone's favorite Planet Snoopy. I wanna see actually, is, okay, no, it is still Boo Blasters, because this was 2011, this would have been a year or two after the whole area was rethemed to Planet Snoopy, if I'm getting my timeline right. Is that a sign for 3D glasses on Boo Blasters? That's kind of cool, they don't have that anymore. I'm assuming that that's kind of like uh, the Garfield's Nightmare sort of 3D effect. Uh, you can watch Stefan Klein's video if you want to learn more about that. And you can see as well, look at this. On all of the ride signs over here, it still has the old font because this was before they changed the fonts. And Gosh, when was that that they changed the fonts? Or at least the color of the font. Was that... I feel like I want to say 2015 was when they changed it. 45 minutes for Boo Blasters, jeez. The rest of Planet Snoopy here, it all looks fairly similar. I've only been in this area like once or twice, so I'm not like an, an expert on King's Island's Planet Snoopy, but, oh wait, there's a map. You can look at the park map. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, that looks so different. That's crazy how different that looks. I'm gonna see if I can find a full map at the end of this, a full map of what King's Island looked like, like the King's Island's park map from August 2011, and then I'm gonna uh, compare it with a 2022 map or 2023, whichever one is the most recent map that 
they've released. Oh my god, I've hopped out. Okay. But the big changes are coming up up this way. This is where the big stuff is going to be changing. And when you really start to realize just how different the park looks uh, from 2011 to now. Oh my god, I got stuck in another P.O. Is this a biker? Is this just like a cyclist who just... Does he just have a bike helmet on his head that this is attached to? That's probably it. This is where things get really different. Like that. Like that. Like Whitewater Canyon. The entrance to Whitewater Canyon was here next to Diamondback. What? Because <laughs> I went to first, I first went to Kings Island in 2016 and this wasn't here. But you know what else wasn't here in 2016 and obviously 2011? Uh, Mystic Timbers. Yeah, this whole section of the park is completely different nowadays. This entire area is now where Mystic Timbers is. I can even show you. You can see their uh, 3D renderings of Mystic's uh, station and break run building. Even the queue, you can see the queue line here and a little bit of like the front entrance area and the locker there. But just keep this image in your mind here. But then you go back to 2011 and look, it's nothing but a funnel cake stand. And then over here is the accessibility entrance for Whitewater Canyon. Sponsored by Huntington. That's something that you don't really see out at Cedar Fair Parks anymore. You don't really see corporate sponsorships much. That's more of like a, a Six Flags thing nowadays. If this Street View uh, imagery was before Diamondback, that would be like crazy. But yeah, this is obviously before the repaint as well, which was just this year in 2023. But I'll throw up a little comparison to show you what the what it looks like now as compared to this. It's mostly just the supports that are a different color. You might be wondering, why was Whitewater Canyon's entrance over there? As opposed to over here where it is nowadays. Well, that's because there just so happened to be a little ride over here called the Crypt. Um, this ride was not always called the Crypt. It was once called uh, Tomb Raider the Ride. Yeah. Yeah, this was an old uh, Paramount edition. It was a jump, jumbo topspin. Uh, Defunct Land also has a video on this. Uh, I'm just gonna recommend just watch all, all of Defunct Land's videos. They're so good. Um, this building is actually still here. You can even see this facade still. I actually have some video of it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this is the show building that it leads into. The uh, little grass archway. It's directly underneath the drop for Diamondback. And if you follow this back behind Mystic Timbers, this is the new entrance for Whitewater Canyon. Other than the crypt, obviously. Not much has changed in Rivertown. This arcade is still pretty much the same. Is there actually like an indoor section to this arcade? There is, okay. That looks a lot dingier uh, than it does now. The arcade in there is actually pretty nice. Oh, and that, we'll get to that later. Uh, the Beast is pretty similar. Not much has changed around here, I don't think at least. Is that only a 15 minute wait for the Beast? That's not bad at all. Uh, Backlot should be pretty much identical to how it is nowadays. Uh, this is obviously after the retheming. That would have been 2007, I think. This path doesn't have a name, is it? Does it? It's just kind of, it's like the one section of King's Island that doesn't really have, like, an area that it belongs to. It doesn't belong to, uh, Coney Mall, and it doesn't really belong to Rivertown either. It's just kind of like the Backlot area. I'm gonna call that path the backlot from now on. Why not? One of the other really big changes of this time, Vortex. Vortex doesn't exist anymore. It got deleted from existence in 2019. That's a lot of people waiting for Windseeker. I guess it would have been new this year, right? But yeah, I skipped past it when we were uh, walking down this path but that's just because I wanted to get all the way up to the station. But um, yeah, Vortex doesn't exist anymore and I only have like three video clips of it because I didn't get anything when I went in 2019. Fun fact as well, Vortex was responsible for the first uh, big hit when I got back into doing YouTube videos was me talking about what's gonna come after Vortex. And then nothing came after Vortex because you know, 
Uh, I recorded that video in October 2019, so every single prediction in it was wrong, because every prediction made before March 2020 is going to be wrong. Vortex is kind of interesting, just how empty this plot of land is now. Like, there's just nothing here, and you can see it as well from, like, th this area in the Beast, and, like, when you're turning out of the Beast, there's just nothing there. It's really kind of strange just having this plot of just empty land right in the middle of King's Island. It's like if Backlot never existed in this plot, it w if this, in, like, this spot of land here, it would just feel so weird. And another thing that's kind of interesting is that there's no antique, car antique cars. There's no King's Mills autos. Uh, Dinosaurs Alive was over here. That's kind of interesting to think about. Dinosaurs Alive doesn't exist anymore, and it hasn't for a while. I never did the Dinosaurs Alive when I was at any of the parks. It was there when I was at uh, Carowinds King's Dominion and Canada's Wonderland, but we never did them. I did do something similar to it. It might have actually been Dinosaurs Alive at the Detroit Zoo before, and that was really fun. It's interesting. I like I like dinosaurs and I like animatronics, so of course I loved Dinosaurs Alive. Or whatever one was at the Detroit Zoo when I went. Uh, Zephyr is still the same. This whole area is still the same. But this area, you want to know an area that's not the same? Ho 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 ho! Yeah! Yeah! Look at this! Look at this archway here! This doesn't exist anymore! Because you know what? It's not called X-Space anymore! This area is completely different! Because yeah, this is... X base and is now known as Area 72 and you can actually still see the um, like runway sort of pattern from when Paramount owned the park. It used to be called Fort Kinzel instead of uh, Fort Mason. I actually kind of like Fort Kinzel more. It doesn't make sense because it's a Kings Island and not Cedar Point but I like it. It's still a cute little nod. And you want to talk about things that aren't here anymore. Boom! The Coma Flying Dutchman, yeah! Um, yeah, this doesn't exist anymore. It got completely removed in 2017. And then now, obviously, this is where Orion sits. And not much of uh, Flight of Fear, or not Flight of Fear, not much of Firehawk exists anymore, except for this building. You'll recognize this building, actually, because this is the entrance building for Orion. Uh, that's why it has like a weird shape in this little, that little section to the right that doesn't really make any sense. That's because this used to be the photo booth, like the photo uh, thing for uh, Firehawk. All of this got expanded into a larger locker area, and they got rid of the switchbacks on the inside here and just replaced it with a path out and a path back. And then behind this, they have more switchbacks. Actually, I can show you. This whole section here is part of the Flight of Fear queue now. Um, this used to be a smoking area, I guess, but now there's a canteen restaurant there, a meteor canteen. And this, this is before the truck as well, before the big burn marks. It's just so interesting looking at this area. I did not expect this to go on as long as it did. And we're not even, we're only like halfway through King's Island, let alone any other parks. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. And we're not even into the coolest area of King's Island yet, just you wait. Uh, I'm gonna skip a bit down to Coney Mall actually. Nothing's really changed. We'll move down here, because I think that the Coney Barbecue might be different. Yeah, it is. It wasn't even a restaurant. Huh? It was like a, it was just like a clothing store. Yeah, this is a restaurant now. That's weird to think about. Popping on down to the racer, you can see the old logo for it. Uh, that logo is still used on a lot of promotional material. I have a pin from 2022 that has it, which was after the uh, logo got changed. I don't know why they changed the logo. The old one actually looked better. Um, there's not this archway into the into the Coney Mall section either. That got removed. Why? That's kind of weird that that got removed. I never noticed that. And I've looked I've looked through Street View a couple times here. Um, this building's changed, obviously. It's this whole section has changed actually a lot. It used to this used to be 
fairly up to date, but now it's completely different because this is Adventure Port now. Uh, this is where Soul Spin is. This is the new uh, the new entrance for Adventure Express, which is on that side. Slingshot doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, that area is interesting to look at just how different it is now. Because it, it that used to be pretty up to date and up all the way up until this year. Why can't I go down here? I want to look at Festo. I want to look at Festos. There's one point of interest down here. Why is it crooked? Who are you? You're not the bicycle helmet, man. This is from July of last year. No, I don't want this. Who are you? With, okay, let's just ignore that and let's keep moving on. Festus has a different design as well. It's it's just like a lot more of a just tin box in here. This is actually, actually, this is where the back entrance is nowadays. It's kind of there, but yeah, this building doesn't exist anymore. There's outside dining here, which is nice. This is the section that I think weirdly has changed the most. Well, not weirdly, but it has absolutely changed the most. This is like the one thing that's the same, is Delirium. Delirium and Drop Tower are like the only things in this entire section that are the same. This water tower doesn't exist anymore. Um, this used to be like stunt zone or like action zone, I guess. Uh, this was the most paramount type of themed area, I guess. This is kind of cool. Old color scheme in Vertigo. Yeah, this was before it became blue. That's kind of interesting to see. I didn't I didn't realize that the first time that I looked through uh, King's Island's Street View. I didn't realize it until... Well, like, I realized it, but I wasn't expecting this. This was, like, the one thing that I was, like, really not expecting when I went into uh, Street View here for the first time. But let's just address the elephant in the room while we're in this section. The thing that I think everyone was wanting to know about uh, looking back at old Street View of Kings Island. It's the thing that like if you think about what's gonna be in an old street view of Kings Island, this is the thing that you're gonna think about, right? Like I think everyone is thinking the same thing right now. Flight deck. And like look, look at this. It has the old color scheme. Whoa, I would have never imagined that. That's so wacky and zany, isn't it? Anyways, that's all of King's Island. Okay, let's talk about this 200 foot monstrosity back here. Is that guy waving at the camera? He is! Look at that! Shout out to this random person in their pajamas from August 2011. You're cool. Um, yeah. This thing. Son of Beast. This was actually, this street view is from after the ride closed, by the way. Son of East closed in 2009, but it, it remained standing at the park all the way until like 2012, I think. But yeah, this little racetrack here doesn't exist anymore either. It's a really odd race racetrack that. But both of those got removed and made way for Banshee. Actually, yeah, this whole section is completely different. I didn't even realize until I was trying to set up that shot. But uh, yeah, this is this is still a this is a chicken place now. But that's still a restaurant. And then this whole area around the water tower here, this all got removed and turned into a like a shaded, a shaded dining area. But yeah, Son of Beast. It's really strange. And you know what? This used to be in the, in like the overhead satellite view, like this thing, this one, you could still see there were parts of it that still had Son of Beast all the way up until like last year or two years ago. 
it still had it, which was really strange. That was really weird seeing that, but they finally updated it. And you can even see, like this is what Banshee looked like, looks like now. And then if I put a marker right in front of where the ride sign is, it's completely unrecognizable. This is the one, the one thing in Kings Island that's like truly unrecognizable from how it is nowadays. Like you could look at the area around where Mystic Timbers is and say, I can kind of see that. Same with like the crypt in Area 72. But this, it's completely different. Banshee, the way that they remodeled Banshee just completely changed this entire section of the park. And I think that that's really cool. There's, it's not often that you see a completely to a complete remodeling of a park. Chicken Man. You want to know a fun fact about this park as well? Is that Son of Beast Station building still exists in the park today. As in like 2023 today. This part, the station still exists. You can still sort of see it, and there's even a little bit of track in there. They use it as a haunt. Uh, they use it as a thing for Halloween haunt now, I think. And also, I know I made a joke of it before, but it's kind of cool that this is when uh, Flight Deck, or when the bat was still named Flight Deck, and it had the old, the old completely gray color scheme. I think that that's kind of cool. That's one of the one of the strange remnants of the, or one of the strange moments of the Cedar, uh, Paramount to Cedar Fair transition was stuff like this. Anyways, I think that we're about done with Kings Island now. We've traveled through almost all of the park. I don't want to, I'm not going into going to go into Soak City just cause I've never been there and I don't really like water parks. So I don't have anything really to say about it, but it's just fun looking at how different uh, parks are between uh, only only 12 years, just how different a park has become. Even just talking about Son of Beast going into Banshee, that was such a big change. Or uh, Firehawk's old plot of land going into Orion. Or even just Vortex's plot of land going into Grass. It's fascinating just looking back at a park and seeing how it used to look seeing something like this, which looks like it was just like a finished plot of land and then all of a sudden they just build a new coaster there. Or like Mystic Timbers, where you wouldn't even think about putting a coaster there, really. If you're standing in that section of the park, you wouldn't really think, hey, this is where um, in five years time there's going to be a massive GCI wooden coaster that goes all the way out here and it's going to be amazing. You wouldn't really think that if you're just you know, standing in front of a funnel cake stand. Wow, only $10 for the souvenir cups. Dang, that was a really good deal.